Hey, what's good? I'm Sadia and I've just bought myself the FlexiSpot standing desk. I got the 140 centimeter model and it cost around 300 pounds from Amazon, which I think is super affordable considering the size as well. My previous desk was only 100 centimeters, which wasn't wide enough for me personally. So I had to go bigger and more so because I've now got the space for it. Before we get onto the rest of the video, I can tell you already that I absolutely love the FlexiSpot standing desk. I do not regret my decision to get it at all and I actually stand whilst working. We'll get into all of that shortly, but first let's go through the assembly. So because I got the 140 centimeter model, the desk actually came in two packages. So the first one was the frame itself. So that was obviously like the legs, the feet. Um, it also came with the crossbar and the transmission rod, obviously, and the, the electric switch where you can change the settings. And then the second parcel was the actual tabletop which thankfully came pre-drilled, had the pre-drilled holes already. So that made fitting it really, really easy. The instructions do mention that you need two people, but honestly, I managed to do it by myself and it was really, really easy. It took about, I think about 35 to 40 minutes all in. So not too bad. Oh, and the instructions, a round of applause to FlexiSpot because honestly, those were the best instructions I've ever seen. Clear pictures. And every step was clear in great English. Um, I don't know if you've got if you guys have fixed anything before and look looked at instruction manuals and they're generally just really, really bad. Either the English is poor or the instructions just don't make sense or they've made mistakes, etc. But the FlexiSport instruction booklet was really, really easy to follow. And yeah, like I said, you only need one person to do it. Obviously, if you've got somebody else that can help you, then great. The one thing I will mention though is uh, with the tabletop that I got, the 140 centimeter model is quite big and quite heavy as well. It's quite, it's a solid big thing, but um, I had to carry it up the stairs. Uh, I did it, I managed to do it by myself though. So again, it is possible, but that part might just be a little on the heavy side, depending on how strong you are. I'm not very strong. The only other part that's probably a little bit awkward is fitting the transmission rod and the crossbar to the two legs because when I was trying to do it the legs were pretty much about to fall because the my carpet I guess the flooring's not super flat but I figured out a way to do it and I managed to do it anyway so yeah like I said it only took 40 minutes once I'd fitted the frame I tested it almost immediately because I was still actually waiting for the tabletop to arrive as you can see from the clip here it kept bouncing back down so it wasn't actually working and I thought it was faulty but thankfully it actually wasn't so what it was is that this desk has a anti-collision feature so basically if it detects anything it'll kind of just bounce back up or down accordingly obviously it was on, on a very high setting so what i did i just turned it down to the very lowest because i'm not going to have anything under my desk anyway except for my legs so yeah that's the assembly of it and let's get on to the desk itself was it worth it 300 pounds for a standing desk is really not that bad especially when you look around and for example you might find one at about 500 pounds at ikea other websites tend to sell them for that much as well so when i came across the flexi spot on amazon well actually i was recommended it by a good friend but yeah it i was really impressed with the price and yeah i can't say there's any issues with it sometimes you know they say you get what you pay for but honestly the flexi spot is quality it's a great desk it's super solid you know it doesn't feel cheap in the slightest and it works i wanted a standing desk because i'm pretty much sat down all day every day i work from home full time so i don't really move around that much um so i wanted a standing desk for that reason and I wasn't actually so I wasn't actually so sure that I was gonna stand and use the desk as often as I actually do. So I did surprise myself, but I found that standing it just it I just really like I just really like the idea of standing, it makes me feel good. And to be honest, I don't really I can't really feel that I'm standing, if that makes sense. So like when I'm working I thought maybe I'm gonna feel you know, feel that I'm standing and actually get tired and things like that. But honestly, I get so lost into my work that I don't actually realise. But whilst I'm standing, I do sometimes move around and that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to stand in this anyway, so I could actually get the movement in whilst still doing my day-to-day -day job. And it's not even just work, even obviously with my personal work, like the YouTube stuff I do, I'm at my desk. So I'm at my desk a lot of the time, so I think having a standing one was super important. 
So one thing that I will say that most people tend to miss out on is that if you're going to get a standing desk, then you absolutely need to get a standing mat. So from standing directly on the carpet to standing on the mat, there's such a significant difference. On the carpet, I could tell, I could feel sort of like my feet getting a bit achy, but on the standing mat, it's just super soft and it's just like a nice bit of cushion for your feet. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting a standing mat. I've put a link to the one that I've got in the description below, but honestly, I would definitely recommend it. If you're going to fork out for a standing desk, then just add a £30 on top and get a standing mat. Your feet will definitely thank you for it. So in terms of the features of the desk, obviously you've got the electrical switch here, which has four preset modes. Um, so you can basically say four different positions. I'm only utilizing two of them. So number one is my sitting position and number two is my standing position. You've obviously got the arrow button so you can manually move it up or down, but because I've got the presets, I only ever need to press one or two. So yeah, it's easy to use. And as I said, it's a quality desk. It definitely doesn't feel cheap at all. And I know a lot of people complain about the wobbliness on standing desks, but this one, I not had any issues with it so yeah i can't complain oh and if you're going to get a standing desk well to be honest this applies to whether you get a standing desk or not but i would definitely recommend cable management it just makes you clean clean your it just makes your setup so much more clean and you won't have to get sick of the sight of looking at your cables so this particular model doesn't actually come with a cable tray but if you go for the smaller version of the flexi spot so the 100 centimeter model then it does come with a cable tray so you don't have to worry about that but because I needed to buy one, I went for this. I got this, again, off Amazon. It can, comes in a pack of two. It's proper sturdy, super solid it is. Um, but I really like it because not only does, not well, not only is it big enough, but also you've got holes on, you know, the bottom or the sides. So you can just put the cables through. You're not restricted by doing it only one way. So it makes things a lot easier. And as you can see here, it just looks so clean and you can't even see any of the cables except the main main extension lead one, which is great. Oh, and if you're cable managing with a standing desk, you need to consider the standing position because obviously um, the desk will go up. So the, the cable will obviously move with it. So you need to make sure that you consider that as well. So don't obviously keep it too tight. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I would definitely recommend a standing desk, especially if you are pretty much sat down all the time. It's really good. It feels good. I think it's great for your back and your legs. And yeah, just, you know, you can move at the same time. If you're in a boring meeting, you could just do a little jog, do a little dance. I don't know. You just move around, basically. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this FlexiSpot standing desk. I personally love it and I'm really happy with my purchase. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful. And if you've got any questions at all, please do drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. As always, thank you for watching. Peace.